The issue surrounding nuclear power is a generating capacity break down into several areas. Safety, cost, environmental, sustainability and reliability of supply. Now safety is a tricky one since all power generation has risks associated with it from mining resources like coal to constructing wind turbines. A well-run nuclear power station running in a safe area is actually safer than most comparable forms of generation on a per unit basis. However, the last two major nuclear incidents were examples of this not happening. Chernobyl was caused by the people running it doing almost everything they could to induce a failure by not following proper procedures when an incident was about to happen and not taking steps to prevent it. Lessons learned since Chernobyl hopefully mean that such an incident is unlikely to be repeated. A Fukushima type incident however is likely to be repeated due to the nature of nuclear power. Standard nuclear power stations require vast amounts of reliable water supplied them as a coolant. This generally means siting them by the coast. Also electricity needs to be consumed relatively near to where it's generated due to transmission issues. Many of these stations therefore are sited in geologically unstable regions like the Ring of Fire. This means like the possibility of a tsunami or an earthquake critically damaging these stations in these areas is a significant risk. Cost is a fairly easy one when compared to most other forms of generation. When you take into account all of the costs including decommissioning and disposal of nuclear waste it is one of the most costly per unit generated. Though in common with many forms the newer the power station, the cheaper the cost. Environmental issues are broken down into two areas. The first, even when including construction and mining, the greenhouse contribution of a nuclear power station is insignificant, making nuclear power stations good for the environment in that regard. The other issue comes down to the disposal of nuclear waste. Now this is an emotive issue, because some of it will be around for generations after the power has been generated, so it could be considered to be a legacy pollution. However, there are some mitigating factors which do need to be taken into account. Spent fuel rods can be used to sterilise medical equipment and other purposes, which will actually be far more damaging to the environment than nuclear power. The other is mixing up of how radioactive things are and their half-life. Generally those things which have a short half-life are very radioactive but over a very short period. Those which have a long half-life are radioactive for a very long time but actually only mildly radioactive in general. This means with the proper care additional radioactivity could be just less than living in an area that say has large amounts of granite in, in the rock. Like coal and gas, nuclear power stations are not renewable stations. As such, it cannot be a permanent solution to energy generation as eventually the power that's needed to fuel the reactors will run out. However, there's certainly enough for the medium to long term depending on how many of them are utilised around the world. So whilst they're not sustainable in the very long term, they can be used to keep the lights on whilst other sources are developed and brought online. Now, reliability is often an overlooked issue with nuclear power. One advantage of a nuclear power station is that with a single power station you can produce a vast amount of power compared to any other type of generation. And whilst most modern stations are reliable, they do occasionally have to be taken offline for maintenance and other issues. This means that when this happens, a large percentage of the power in particular areas goes with it, possibly leading to power cuts and other issues. This compares to, say, a wind farm where it was still continuing you to generate electricity if one or two generators are offline, or even if the wind isn't blowing off, uh, strong enough over some of them, others will be in areas where the wind is strong enough. So, my conclusion is that nuclear power should not be used in areas vulnerable to earthquakes or similar risks, but do make a greener alternative to fossil fuel power stations in other areas, and certainly could be used as a stopgap to other greener, more environmental methods are introduced into the system.